Imagine a weapon so large, it weighs nearly 1,350 tons, almost as heavy as 200 elephants combined. This was the Schwerer Gustav. Born out of the late 1930s, this behemoth was conceived by the German company Krupp in Rugenwalde. It was crafted with a singular, daunting purpose, to obliterate the main forts of the French Maginot Line, the then strongest fortifications in existence. Picture this, the fully assembled gun weighed almost as much as 10 blue whales. To grasp the sheer size of this gargantuan weapon, imagine its shells. Each one weighed 7 tons, equivalent to a large African elephant and could be fired to a range of 29 miles. Now despite its impressive size and capabilities, the Schwerer Gustav was not ready for action when the Battle of France began. The Schwerer Gustav, though late for the Battle of France, found its place on the battlefield during the Battle of Sevastopol as part of Operation Barbarossa. The colossal railway gun, a testament to German engineering, was deployed in the Soviet Union. The Gustav was not merely a showpiece, it was a functioning giant, unleashing devastation on a scale previously unseen. The Gustav's claim to fame came when it was tasked with the destruction of a munitions depot situated about 30 meters below sea level. The immense gun, weighing nearly 1,350 tons and capable of firing shells weighing 7 tons, was a force to be reckoned with. Its shells, propelled to a range of 47 kilometers, were designed to punch through 7 meters of reinforced concrete or a full meter of steel armor plate. The Gustav's mission was a success. The munitions depot was obliterated, its existence erased by the sheer power of the Gustav. This feat of destruction underscored the Gustav's potential, casting a long shadow over the battlefield. But the Gustav was not done. It was then moved to the city of Leningrad. Here it was poised to play a significant role in the Warsaw Uprising. The Gustav, with its unmatched firepower, could have changed the tide of the uprising. It was a weapon of such magnitude that it could tip the scales of a conflict. However, fate had other plans. The uprising was crushed before the Gustav could be prepared to fire. The giant on the battlefield, the symbol of German might, was left without a chance to make its mark on this chapter of history. Yet, even without firing a shot, the Gustav remained a formidable presence. Its mere existence was a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of its creators. And the destruction it had wrought in Sevastopol served as a stark reminder of its devastating potential. The Schwerer Gustav, a symbol of German engineering prowess, was then moved to Leningrad, but the uprising ended before it could be prepared to fire. As the war neared its end, the fate of the Schwerer Gustav hung in the balance. The year was 1945 and the tides of war were rapidly turning. The colossal railway gun, an engineering marvel that had once struck fear into the hearts of the enemy, now faced an uncertain future. The Germans, wary of the advancing Soviet Red Army, made a critical decision. They resolved to destroy the Schwerer Gustav, a weapon of immense size and power, rather than risk it falling into enemy hands. The Gustav, the pride of the German war machine, was to meet its end in a paradoxical blaze of glory, the very symbol of its existence. It was a dramatic moment, a testament to the desperation of the times. The Gustav, a symbol of German might and ingenuity, was dismantled. Its parts were scattered, its power extinguished. A weapon that had been designed to bring about destruction was itself destroyed, a poignant reflection of the cycle of war. But even in its destruction, the Gustav left behind an indelible legacy. It stood as the largest caliber rifled weapon ever used in combat. Its monumental size and the weight of its shells were unmatched in the annals of warfare. In terms of overall weight, it remains the heaviest mobile artillery piece ever built, a testament to the audacious ambitions of its creators. The Schwerer Gustav was more than just a weapon. It was a symbol of an era, a time when the world was gripped by war and nations pushed the boundaries of technology and engineering in their quest for victory. Its story is a stark reminder of the destructive power that can be unleashed when human ingenuity is harnessed for the purposes of war. The Schwerer Gustav, a giant of the Second World War, ended as it began, in a spectacular display of power and destruction. Its tale is one of ambition, power, and the relentless march of progress, even in the face of the most devastating conflict the world has ever known.